I gave a, a nod to the, uh, the idea of land-grant institutions, and it was more than 150 years ago that President Lincoln uh, created land-grant uh, colleges and universities to foster continued growth and development of our country. And my college, the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, is proud to continue that tradition on the UW-Madison campus. Provost DeLuca spoke to, about a nexus in the campus, so for those of you who aren't familiar, my college is over on this part, just on this side of the street, and engineering is, is over here. So uh, this is really a great meeting place between the two. Energy is a perfect target for the land-grant model in this century. The discoveries that will be needed to secure our energy future will rely on the development of new basic science tools and fields of knowledge. They will require applied research in the field, and those innovations will span our current academic disciplines and probably create more that we haven't thought about. Unlike Provost DeLuca, I haven't been here for the whole process of the, the conception and design and, and uh, construction of the building. I've just been here for the past year, so I've been kind of late to the party and can't take very much credit, or any credit at all, for con conceiving of the building and bringing it to reality. But I'm very pleased to be able to be here to celebrate it. Um, we, we have a number of our CALS faculty members who are at work inside the building, and that includes people who work on the, the whole spectrum of bioenergy from the ecosystems that produce the biomass through to the bacteria that break it down and, and then ferment the sugars uh, into ethanol and construct other products as well. And I, I think that you know a lot of the folks who work on these areas won't be residents in this building. Uh, so I think that this is important for them. It's important to be able to have a place where we can all convene uh, and have planned and random interactions that will end up creating new partnerships. So I really look forward to seeing how this building and the Wisconsin Energy Institute will, will catalyze and forge new collaborative projects in the future. Congratulations to all of you who've put in so much work to bring this to reality.